Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to both install Clementine or patch your current install. We're going to start with a client download first. If you already have Clementine installed, there will be a timestamp in the description below to skip this step. Okay, so first you want to click the blue download button. It may pop up and say it can't be downloaded securely, but that's okay. Just go ahead and click the arrow and click keep. This may take a while to download. Once downloaded, go ahead and open it up. It should look something like this. Go ahead and make a new folder. We'll need to extract this there. It's important that the new folder is empty, as if it's not, it may cause issues. Once extracted, go ahead and run Clementine Installer. Here you will be prompted to either install for all users or install for me only. If you have an idea of what this means, then go ahead and choose yourself. But if you don't know what any of this means, go ahead and choose the recommended for all users. Then you will be able to choose between either English or Japanese. I'm going to choose English. Here you will be able to choose your install directory. Default's perfectly fine, but I'm going to change it for the sake of the video. Then go ahead and click Next. Here you can choose to create a desktop shortcut or not. I recommend choosing to. Go ahead and click Next, and then Install. This part may take a while, so go ahead and get cozy. When it's finally done being installed, you can go ahead and click Finish. And then I recommend opening the launcher at least once to make sure that there's no patches that you have to download. And that concludes the client install portion, and we will be moving over to the patch portion. So back on the download page, now you will be clicking the pink download button for the patch. Once downloaded, go ahead and open it. It should look something like this. Head on over to your install directory. If you're not sure where the install directory is, you can go ahead and right-click the desktop icon, do Properties, and then Open File Location it'll take you right here. Once here, just go ahead and select the contents and drag it in. If it asks you to replace files, just go ahead and do so. And that's the patch installed. This concludes the tutorial video.